Well, hello and welcome to Geomedism Total Nerd Channel for more Let's Play on this Star Mata server. And today I am going to show you how to make some monies, or rather, how to make money fast in the game, early in the game. So, you basically need a big pool of money when starting out Star Maid, and well, I show you how, uh, how I usually do it and what I think it's the best way to do it when you start out this early on. Later, of course, it's uh, very profitable to hunt on pirates, pirates and steal their loot because sometimes you can get 100 computers from just shooting one pirate and then you can sell those computers and get rich. But we don't have those big warships yet, so I'll show you how to make uh, some money from, you know, very cheap system, very easily. You know, not so offensively either. It's, it's a very, what to say, decent type of money making. <laughs> okay, let me get back this HUD, which is F1 uh, and then G button. You do that on, they change the buttons. So, I'm first just gonna show you around here because uh, I've builded some offline you see because well I'm evil um, no not really but I build some offline uh, just you know make a simple little base here you can see this looks weird oh anyways this is the storage we have it's half full already we have some power I don't really remember how much I built on the last recording uh, Anyways, I newly made a little dock and I've decided to go to the with the front side dock uh, for this little part here. We we'll probably have um, different types of dock here, but I like to ship my uh, I like to make my ships docking compatible. Then we have this fantastic little factory area here, which is very important in your money making, mind you. So we will be looking at that later. Um and here is, yeah, there is the refinement little part, and here is the, uh, what is this? I'm just kidding, it's the storage. So, get back that hood, and uh, I'm just gonna check that this beauty is online and going, and it's running like hell. Fantastic. Okay, so I made some new, uh, nice, oh shit. I made some, made some new nice factories going around here, so they're rocking on there. Now, for the money making. Um, we have a little fleet that's mining for us, which is very valuable, you see, because uh, it takes lots of time when mining yourself, so you can just go into the fleet menu here and you see GI Mining Group, four ships, uh, and they all are mining except the GI commander which is basically a one core ship <laughs> but the commanding ship vessel will not mine that's why we have that setup now we don't have a stop computer so we need to evade this gravity a little bit you see all right and we're going on we can use the camera actually and we'll just go into here is the commanding group, whatever whatever they say. A plot path to current. It's only one sector, but our jump drive is loaded, so we we'll, might as well use it. And here we are. Here we can see our ships mining. Isn't this fantastic power failure? So sad. We can see them there. Um, of course, we don't have faction modules for them yet, so uh, we basically just hope that the other Star Squadron members are kind and don't steal it from us. But I don't. <laughs> I would be very surprised if somebody did. This is a kind of interesting shop here. It's kind of close to. Looks like it should be more far away, but whatever. We'll go there later. Here we have all our mining ships going on. And what we want to do is, you see this little beauty has stopped mining. And you might wonder why might that be? Probably because its inventory is uh, 
full or something? Let's check this out. It looks full. So we just get out from this beauty here and we go and... You can see the boxes are full here. We go in here, we have 9000 cinnabar and some nice materials there. Now we took them, you see? We took the materials and this beautiful guy, the miner 2, starts mining again. And as you can see, um, I made these ships very cheaply. Don't, you don't have to be scared about the mining lasers, they don't hurt you. Um, so as you can see, it's basically going fast, still some more. It's a very cheap ship with some simple mining systems online. Um, and we have several of those ships here. Now, they can a bit be a bit tricky to you know, catch <laughs> as you want their materials when they fly around. So if you make a mother ship, you can make them, uh, you know, automatically dock to you. We just haven't done that yet. We'll go to one of the more calm ships here. Whoops. Okay, okay, can we do this? Stop, get out, and where is the ship? Here it is, go towards it, come on, come on, where is it? Oh, there it is, there it is. Did we align ourselves? We didn't. We, we, we want to align ourselves with, with this beauty, you see. And we want to, no, not really. And yes, we're aligned, perfect. Now we can go into the ship and we can take all its resources, perfect. Now we just want to get out of its crazy atmosphere and get back to our Gemodism Industries Winder. That ship is empty, that ship is empty. The DI commander, as I told, uh, do not actually, you know, do very much. Oh, this is the one. Okay. This looks like another dangerous mission, but somebody has to do it. Okay, here we go, and we use space to align ourselves to the ship, if we can get into its range. Now what is it? Oh, here it is. Here it comes, here it comes. We're aligned, perfect. We can get in here and we can take all its material. And if you have very big ships, you might realize that uh, maybe <laughs> you will get your inventory get full very fast. But when we are on this level, this is a fine way to do it. Now what we want to go is we go back with our newly won materials and we throw them into the main storage system. As I showed you last time, we don't need to think to put it in the ref refinery or in any factory or anything like that. Because everything we have is, as I shown in the factory episode, just linked back to itself. So we will put everything in the main chest and the smart star made system will just solve it all and uh, <clears throat> Gravity is strong. Um, and uh, refine everything for us and then use it in the factories when we want to produce. Um, well, if you want to build with, say, unrefined materials, you may find this a problem because most of the materials get refined, except things like grass or red dirt or stone doesn't get refined. Um, but the rest does. Okay, it's some weird with the gravity. Sometimes you don't get the gravity to the planets. Can it weird? Can we get? Yes, we're in gravity. Thank you. I like gravity. So here we have our stuff. We just throw it into the uh, factory, and it starts to, you know, the big refinements start to refine the materials, and the factories start creating stuff. Now we just get into the build block because it's nice. Now how are we going to create lots of monies? Well, one thing we could do which is recommendable sometimes is that you go and basically you can use your chest as cargo by the way. If 
you go to the chest you can click use as cargo and then when you're in the same sector you can reach it and use it as your inventory. But as, oh, as, as I was going to say, what you can do is you can take all the ore and all the shards and just sell them. And you will never have to craft everything, anything ever again. You can just buy everything. But it's not as efficient as the methods I'm going to show you now. It will not give you as much monies. And you will get over with lots of, you know, um, where, where do we have it? The Sugil stone and the Shabba stone and the, uh, you know, the Cinnabar stones and all the different kinds of stones. You will have loads and piles of them. So, to get rid of this problem, you go to your basic factories and you say, change Priya, pri no, <laughs> change production. And you go in and you write in carved, carved like that and then you see well you can just select what stone you have you probably know what stone you just mined see here lots of shabas let's make carved shabas and then it will start crafting carved shabas and this one we can just set it to change production we run in carved and we say you make carved sugil let's go of you and you see now this is producing you know three every second and we have 20, 25,000 and that's why I have these beauties you see they're kind of big they're factories all up you know factory enhancers all the way up and uh, really this beauty isn't producing anything we can change production and we just read carved carved that's what we have you can also produce carved sugil so we can get rid of some of that now these sugil units aren't that valuable don't get me wrong but they're i think they're about 10 times as valuable as the block itself and let's see if you get one credit per one of these you get 25,000 credits if you sell them all. If you would sell them carved, you will get 200,000. Now, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm actually not really, I don't really remember exactly the price range. And the prices depend on which shop you go to, which you probably understand. So we wanna sell those. But of course, every shop takes limited amount so we can sell them all. So something else we want to do is actually create computers and it doesn't matter what computer it is, just create built computers that are expensive like weapon computers for example, very expensive, scanner, you know, radar, radar system, things like that. So we can just, we just write in computer here. Like here we can see let's say damage being computer and if you don't know what materials you have it you know n not me I, I don't I don't know all the cannons by heart because I usually have you know all the materials in my bay so I don't need to think of um, what to use to craft them but well, I guess if you always have little materials on your side, you probably need to learn it. But anyways, um, select a computer you can craft. Let's see. Oh, no, let's see there. We can create some uh, cannon computers. And we only could create four because, you know, these are immensely expensive. Um, but they also yield some good bit of money. Okay, let's go and sell those things to make our big money. Oh my god, I almost fell down. <laughs> Scary. No fall damage yet on this game. Uh, maybe we'll have it later. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I want some... Ca I want... Actually... Let's sell two of the cannon computers. I don't need all of them. Not now. We need a few of the missile computers, but I think we can afford to sell five of them like that and then of course um, we want to build with the car carved material also uh, all the red dirt just try to get rid of that 
um, but everything that's carved we can actually go and just uh, search for carved here got some more of that but this is basically the material we have right now so we'll get into our ship and Jimmy's Malfa 1-1 preparing to launch and launch we don't have a radar jammer on this vessel. No, this is a bit scary. Get a radar jammer and you'll be a good bit safer. All right, so we go towards the shop. It's fairly close, actually. Is it me or are these asteroids moving? I thought they were moving, but I don't think they are because that would be weird or something like that. Whoosh! We aligned ourselves by space by clicking, clicking the... Uh, what is it? Button. Now, does this work now? Ship? No, not yet. Oh well. Oh! Never learn. Too slow on the brakings. Probably need to pack some more thr thrusters in the window, I think. All right, closing in and we're in range of the shop. Perfect, can align ourselves. Well, here we are. We now click the B menu, the shop menu, and we can, well, actually, let's just go into the cargo here. And we can go, <laughs> we can drop, <laughs> okay. We use this as personal cargo, so that we can go to the cell menu. Yes, the inventory. And we click cargo, and now we get it, okay. So we can drop this here, on this little button, to sell it. We sell them all, and now we got 93,000, you see. We sell these ones, and we get lots of more money. We have 300,000 now, we can sell We can sell these ones. And we get more money, 700,000. Try to sell as much red dirt as we can, and we can get very little money. Sell these computers, and now you can see here, we get 60,000 from selling these. The base is 50,000, so we actually get a bit more for selling in this shop. Also, this shop is a bit more expensive to buy from. If we go into the buy menu here, you can see that Canon computers are, you know, 1,000, no, 12,000. 12, Let's check what the carved stuff cost. Carved Shabazz, 36, you see, 36, even more than I thought. So you can imagine just how easy it's to get big money by this. I mean, we almost got a million by selling a few you know, trash bunch crafted computers we just made like, you know, like this. And uh, the carved stuff we had had laying around. And that's so little work. We just made our harvesters, you know, mine, our little mining fleet. We made them work, we picked up the goods, we got them to the, you know, factories. You can see the factory from here. It's really beautiful from here, actually. Oh well, we sold them and uh, yeah, there we got some good money. Yeah, so I think that that's basically what I wanted to cover in this episode here. Of course, you can get even big money later on when you are, you know, hunting down pirates. You can get some real nice money for that. Well, I say we round off for this episode for this time, but I'd say thank you very much for watching and, well, you know, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and disliked it if you hate it, and, uh, well, subscribe if you want to see more of this. I have some playlists in the description if you want to check out some other stuff too. And, well, I guess I see you around, Jimmy Total Nerdy Channel, officially out.